Like sacking 14 of them in the Premier League era, Tottenham's choice of managers have from the outset at least carried some of the Watsonisms to get excited about. There have been exceptions of course, Christine Gus looked drew doomed before he even managed the game after awkwardly showing off a London Underground tube ticket at his 1997 unveiling and declaring it was hopefully a ticket to his dreams. He was gone a year later. It might even be unfair to use that six beating with, but what's the point now? It's largely uh, happened the same with Nuno Espirito Santo. From the outset, he appeared to be a panic appointment, uh, and when he was announced day before pre season, he made a big pledge that he was unable to keep. His message to Spurs fans is that he's going to make you proud and uh, you're going to be proud. Uh, said twice for added emphasis, but other than hope and maybe a response to a fresh chase, there was very little to get excited about. Another summer of underwhelming signings, uh, with this time commanded by star striker Harry Kane wanting to leave the club. Throwing in years of awful scouting, minimal transfer spend, and stale scores on the decline, and still no closer to winning anything. Spurs is not exactly an easy job to walk into. It may even be the toughest in the Premier League right now in terms of expectations to reach the top four with the available resources. So Nuno has had it extremely tough, but his promise to make fans proud is almost now a weekly punchline. Grants it started well with an opening day victory over City, but even another two one nil wins over Wolves and Watford to help Nuno win the Premier League manager of the month takes Spurs to the top and not fooling anyone. Spurs are scraping by and doing the bare minimum. Reality struck in September after the international break with three London derbies and three humiliating defeats with Crystal Palace, Chelsea and Arsenal hitting Spurs for three. The only reply was Son Heung-min grabbing a consolation goal at the Emirates. The defeat at Arsenal saw Nuno's tactic ripped apart and the embarrassing hit and hope long ball nature which as Jamie Callagher pointed out on Monday Night Football the next day had Spurs in trouble fewer than 10 seconds after the game kicked off through the total abandonment of the midfield. Wins against poor Aston Villa and Newcastle sides brought fate hope into the boring football would evolve into something for resembling attacking style. Nuno seemed to have found success in dropping Deli Ali for Tanguy and Dembele in a 4-2-3-1 and it's one of those very few calls he made that has pleased supporters. Um, but another London derby flop against West Ham where Spurs barely troubled the Hammers goal has once again left fans up in the arm, especially when Nuno insisted Spurs had controlled the game. The defeat sung even more so considering the largely lifeless performance from the supposed first team came just days after they were all rested for the Conference League defeat at the Tisse. Out of the Conference League, the competition, many of mocked with its lack of recognisable names, let alone any with strong European pedigree. Tottenham, who, remember, have just won one League Cup from 2008 in over 20 years are even favourites for it. Yet, so far, they have failed to win any of their three away games and only defeated group managers more at home, um, even that's com- Conference League cannon fodder, and having to send Harry Kane gone given the struggles of the second AXI. The only laughing stock uh, in the competition so far are Tottenham, who are favourites now in slight danger of not making it out of the group stage, and this is the side with uh, supposed aspirations to get back into the Champions League. Let's not start with the European Super League either. This midweek Carabao Cup game win over Burnley brought an end to Tottenham's miserable form, but it did not exactly get uh, supporters excited. And yeah, it all came crashing back down as well with that performance <laughs> against Manchester United. Zero shots, and when you consider what happened um, to Manchester United um, last week, it just really was absolutely shocking. Tottenham's poor squad, especially beyond the starting XI, isn't Nuno's fault, but watching what he's still being high quality footballers struggle to string together a few passes indicates an alarming lack of understanding of what Tottenham are actually trying to do on the pitch because it certainly doesn't look like scoring is a priority. It's definitely not entertaining, it's outright boring at times, and much worse when Jose Mourinho is in charge, whose team at least had the common courtesy to take an early lead, even if the rest of the match became a betting syndicate of guessing. Um, how late the opposition equaliser would come. Hope does Nuno turning it around are fading fast, even if his first nine games have produced better results than Maurizio Pochettino's equivalent from 2014. Four points better off, in fact. The trouble is Pochettino's side were already playing better football and showed glimpses of the top four regulars they would later become. An excellent pre- pressing performance at Arsenal saw them unfortunate to only grab a 1 1 draw, and that night um, and day to be given a 3 1 hiding without so much to murmur. Pochettino's team also planned to rebuild, had something to cling on to. Nuno's side have nothing. Harry Kane may not be at his best this time, but he's gone from being a top goal scorer and assist 
matchmaker in the league to an anonymous figure overnight. The Man City transfer links may have hindered him slightly, but not to the extent he only has one league goal heading into November. Nuno's defensive tactics are underutilising him. Sadly for Nuno, he doesn't appear to have the backing supporters who will be underwhelmed by his appointment following the summer that started with talks of Antonio Conte or Pochettino. Given his final season with Wolves, uh, it was little more than a damp squid. He unfortunately is a symbol of a club trying to show no ambition whatsoever to compete for trophies. Tottenham fans will accept he is nowhere near the biggest problem at the club. That's another topic altogether, but sadly he's showing nothing that will make him part of the solution either. In a desperate hope that a manager can break the long streak of trophy this season at Tottenham, sadly all Nuno has shown so far is broken promises. Anyway yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share, subscribe, leave me your thoughts, comments down below. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you for watching me for daily football news and subscribe from channel and subscribe. I'm greatly appreciated. Thank you very much for watching. Peace.